Today, my friends from the Artist Council are here. Ushi is here along with Wallace Colvard here to tell us about a brand new exhibit that is about to open uh, featuring some of your work, but it's called Fun and Games. Fun and Games, that's it. We're loading in Monday and opening on Wednesday for Fun and Games. Now that show is a member show and it has um, a very eclectic, well-curated um, art in it with all mediums and everything. So it's going to be fun and games. All right. Well, we're looking at some of the work. And Wallace, you brought in a piece. Uh, I want you to tell me a little bit about it. You started telling me this. So this is all code. This is all computer code. Um, my uh, degree is in visual design, but I also have a minor in computer science. I've been making computer images since actually 1970. Wow. Uh, this one's a little bit newer than that. <laughs> um, and what I do is through code, I um, also use artificial intelligence. I also do traditional methods like painting and drawing. Um, I try to co create sort of uh, communities of color, communities of shape, and everything, even though it may look random, it's all related by mathematics. Fascinating stuff. That is a, a really interesting uh, approach to artwork. So when you code this, uh, you must have a really giant printer at home. Is that how that <clears throat> I actually, manifests? I actually have a printer in Palm Springs, one of the best printers in the world. Happens to be in Palm Springs, and that's how I use. Okay, and, the, and, it, and it spits out these amazing images. Yeah. And then sometimes you uh, work on that and, and add in other, uh, other medium like painting on top of it? I do. My current work is, um, starts with an AI base, uh, artificial intelligence base. It's printed on canvas, and then I add traditional media on top of that. Wow, that is very cool. Uh, you know, some people think that the art is just painting or sculpting, but there's a lot of different ways to approach the, the, the to get uh, work on the walls That's of right. museums. Uh, you have a background in film animation. You worked for Disney, uh, so you, you have a very eclectic background. Um, yes, I started in um, television art direction in New York. Uh, I worked for NBC and 30 Rock for quite a while and um, did a lot of show graphics for them and openings and uh, then I moved to Los Angeles. I worked for 18 years in Hollywood uh, doing uh, film animation and uh, special effects. And now retired, you're just enjoying your artwork. That's right. And, now, in, now and working to... for the Artist Council. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Don't forget right. that. <laughs> And, and now I get to do really what I, what I want to do. Uh, and, it, and it's been wonderful to be supported by the Artist Council, which has all of these programs, all of these classes, all of these meetings, um, all of these lectures. Uh, and if I can just wax poetic about the Artist Council a little bit, um, they support artists from of all levels. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're an absolute beginner or you're a consummate pro professional. Uh, they, um, the camaraderie there is incredible. Uh, we have a, uh, several exhibitions a year and uh, events. And uh, it's based at the Artist Center, which is in Palm Desert. Well, it's a great resource for artists, uh, as you mentioned, from, from every age level and experience level. And this is going to be a terrific show. You want to check it out. Fun and Games show and sale. Of course, the uh, artwork that you see will be on sale as well. It runs May 24th through the, through the 25th of June. And you have an opening reception on uh, the Thursday, 20, Thursday yep. the 25th. From 5 to 7, it's free, open to the yep. public. People can come Correct. and check it out. Yep. All you need to do is show up. Okay, artistcouncil.com for more information or 760-565-6130. Thank you both, and thanks for Thank bringing you. in some really interesting My artwork. My pleasure.